and frost spikes based on my research occur because of exposure to extreme cold uh, for mount it happened mainly between mountain climbers but also it happened for example very commonly for homeless people who for some reason they stay in the cold uncovered and it happens sometimes even for hikers stranded at uh, high altitude or in cold places without enough coverage suddenly if there is a storm or something so for me i had all the precaution in terms of clothes so i had the best equipment on me however because of the high altitude and the long day and the lack of oxygen and the cold night i developed this frostbite as the body tried to protect itself with the lack of oxygen so the blood get a bit pulled off from the extremities of the body i was lucky that it did not have any issues with my foot with my fingers or in my feet uh, i had a big boot that was protected it's only my left hand because it seemed as i was stranded hallucinating at night i was using it to hold the rope so actually my my glove was a bit wet my right hand only i had this finger but i had frost nip on those finger the other ones but with time like i had a black spot here it disappeared it fell off in two months here there was some issues with my fingers but now they are completely normal but this was so severe and initially actually the the affected area was a bit below here even this hand was here but then it went away my face was well protected because although i ran of, out of oxygen my face mask stayed on my face and as I climb at night, I always use a clear goggles. So I was using them and it helped to protect my face. I had face, I had a head cover and I had my cover in my down suit. So I did not have any issues with frostbite in any other parts of my body. There is some cases of hallucination with lack of oxygen where people start taking off their clothes. Uh, thank God, I cannot remember exactly what happened at that night. I still have amnesia from that night but I did not do any of those activities. So the affected part was only my fingers and uh, my, my left hand and my right hand. One thing that I feel I'm lucky with that first I did not die in that night, you know, so that was good. Secondly, that the accident happened only in my left hand. I'm a right-handed, so this is my dominant hand. That means I can continue most of my living activities normally because it's, it's my dominant hand. And also I'm lucky on my left hand that with the thumb, although I have a bit of frostbite here, this will not be operated on as it's gradually falling off. As it seems, it's a bit superficial here. So I will not be losing this finger. And this is very important because for lots of activities in the hand, you need the thumb. And I'm so lucky that I have it. Uh, in terms of the other fingers, uh, also, I'm lucky that uh, the frostbite did not develop below where I will be losing all of those joints, those joints. So it's only in the fingers here. And as I said, tomorrow I'm doing my amputation process or my amputation operation. And the discussion I had with my doctor is to try to keep as much uh, like remaining space as possible, which will help me in using like better kind of prosthetics. Uh, this is one of the reasons that the amputation process in a uh, frostbite such as my case is being delayed because we try to let the body to try to heal as much as possible and when say to heal the body will not be able to heal the full finger however it will try to heal this area which will mean in the operation because what will happen is they will not cut it from here they will start peeling it peeling the finger like an onion and as they peel it they will try to keep as much healthy skin as possible until they reach the narcotic skin and there they will need to cut. And usually for amputation, they will need to cut it below the joint level here. So it's about keeping as much as possible. Even two centimeter will be very good for the future use of prosthetics. And this is why in the past three months since the injury, I've been using medicines that increase the blood flow to my body, mainly extremities. And also I was doing hyperbaric chamber uh, with uh, condensed oxygen in order to increase the oxygen flow in my body. Stop.